Okay, so we actually tied on our backlash predictions because of whatever happened with the Street Profits and the Viking Raiders where they had that, whatever the fuck that thing was, that cinematic match or brawl or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, since so, since the uh, match never officially happened, we both got, we both won one of the two we disagreed on. And, uh, they are gonna have the Street Profits versus the Viking Raiders on Monday. They're actually gonna have a match, and I swear to God, the Viking Raiders win. I will burn all of this down. So anyway, because we tied, and because of Champion's Advantage, I had to watch Golden Times Tarzan film from the collection of crap. And let me tell you something, the only way this could be a golden film is if someone pissed all over it. If you've watched Phalus, you've seen what these films are like. He's talked about a lot of the golden films movies. They're, they're animation, they're animated movies that are designed to cash in on Disney movies at the time. They are the, the mockbuster, like, like The Asylum for animation and like you see you know, this was Tarzan of the Apes that came out in 1997 what else came out in 1997 well, that was an animated movie about Tarzan I wonder yeah it, that's what those are if you ever go to the drugstore or the the dollar bin at Walmart and you see something that looks like a knockoff Disney movie that's what these are that's a golden film and my god, this thing. Like, they always have a soundtrack that is just like public domain, usually like Russian ballet music. Like, this thing starts with Ride of the Valkyries playing so loudly that I can barely hear the dialogue. And that's what this is. Like, anytime there's incidental music or background music, it's... It's not always Ride the Valkyries, it's some other well-known pieces of music that I am not smart enough to know offhand. Or it's their god-awful original songs, which are just... They're not terrible, but they're not good. They're just... They exist. Like, this entire movie exists. I, I can't even break down the plot, because things just happen. Like I said, it immediately starts with Tarzan's parents on a boat in the middle of a storm, and then for some reason there's a mutiny. Don't fucking know why. Maybe there's an explanation, but I couldn't hear it over the fucking soundtrack! So, mutiny, treasure, Tarz the, since Tarzan's dad helped the, the captain for five seconds, he lets them escape, and they make it to the island, and... <coughs> you have to excuse me, my voice is already kind of shot from yelling at this thing as I was watching it. Maybe I should have done a live stream of me watching Maybe I'll look into that next time. But I mean, just, they make it to the island, and you know, Tarzan's mom's pregnant, obviously, and they're like, oh, you know, I guess we'll just wait here till someone rescues us, we can make a living here, and like, then there's a panning shot, and there's a hut, just, just perfectly built hut, right there, like, like, he just, oh look, right over there, the way you can live there. Wait, where the fuck did that come from? Where? Did Gilligan leave it? Because it's a bamboo hut. And so, like, they move into this hut. <sighs> they move into the hut, they have books, somehow. Dad brings the treasure, ca the, the treasure chest, empties out the treasure so they can use it as a cradle for Tarzan. Uh, they get sick but you'd never know, because they never look any different. There's supposed to be a passage of time, because Tarzan grows up a little bit. Uh, they have nosy neighbors, which are the apes, but they act like the nosy neighbor of a sitcom. Like the one male ape pulls the female away, like grabs her by the hair and pulls her away, like they would a joke in a sitcom. Like, like they're the, f the fucking Kravitzes living next to... And, and Bewitched living next to Sam. I forget the name, but Jesus Christ. And so, you know, uh, Tarzan's parents just get sick, and then they die. So, uh, the apes come. And at this point, the apes are talking.
because of course they would. I like we we're not introduced to this concept until like we just know the apes are watching. The one female ape is baby crazy because babies and women, right? Am I right, fellas? But we get the 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 idea that the apes are going to talk. And I should have realized that because it's ripping off the, the Disney Tarzan where where that happened, but. We find out the apes talk when there's just this battle scene. One goes, CHARGE! And there's a war between, like, the gray apes and the brown apes. But it's, it's not, it just, it just happens. It just happens. Shit just happens. It's all this movie shit happening. So, like... Tarzan's parents die. Ape parent come. Rescue him. Uh, they can never go back to that horrible place because the the, the the male ape knocked over a gun and scared him. Like, ah, I'll never go back there again. So then we see Tarzan growing up among the apes with his brother Jerkoff. His name, I think, is Kurtoff. But again, the soundtrack is so loud. I just call him Jerkoff because that's what I heard. His brother Jerkoff. And his dad is Kochek, who was the leader of the apes. And gets really jealous of Tarzan later on when he becomes a man and he's grown up and he could, he fights off the apes. Yeah. So, you know, montage of Tarzan learning to speak ape and be an ape and all this shit. It's like that done. There's no... The pacing in this is all over the fucking place. It's so terrible. So, like, I'm trying not to go over it step by step I don't fucking know. You know, uh, sometime Tarzan finds his parents cabin the human parents cabin and yeah it's been a while because his dad's skeleton is slumped over the desk just just <clears throat> dead skeleton no clothes just the skeleton half a skeleton don't know what happened to his mom but yeah they just left it no one came back he's like ah doesn't freak out just just starts looking around he he finds a book his dad's journal and there's a little they did the little baby print hand thing you do and he's like oh and then he grabs a book uh, uh, an alphabet book and suddenly he can read he just looks at the words looks at the pictures and can read so that's how that works uh, my favorite thing though is it's like uh, an A to Z alphabet book and has pictures and for M they have man and on the next page is nail Man and male. Nothing in between those two words. That's all you fucking need from an M and an F N word. Man and male. Oh, he finds the treasure. Like The reason they had nail was because he stepped on a nail on the board from his dad buried the treasure. But still, like that's, that's all you need. Man, nail. That's it. That's it. Man, nail. Alright. So then he goes. Uh, there's another war with the other gorillas and he fights them off. And he, he makes the... He, oh, he grabbed a knife. That's what. He grabbed a knife. From the, 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 the bamboo hut, the cottage, and he, he threw it and it knocked a gorilla down and, you know, ah, weapons, man, run. And then then he sings a song about how awesome he is. And and Kochek is like, all right, there's a great moment. Because before this, Lord of the Eight Kochek. Had this like, uh, I don't like Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan, why Tarzan? You know, that kind of gruff voice. During the middle of this song, when they're singing how great Tarzan, he just goes, he goes, I don't like Tarzan. Nope. That voice. So he has a completely different voice. What? And then, and then, maybe this was after, maybe it was before. I can't remember. Again, time is stupid in this universe. But we find out this is, island is in Africa and there are tribesmen there. Because Tarzan finds them. He captures, he freezes his ape mom. And yeah, I, and I'm not kidding. He learned to read because he saw someone with a bow and arrow and goes, Archer! Again, you can just fucking read. And they're not the ones who built the hut, by the way, that the Greystones lived in, because they have the, the thatched, you know, thatch huts you'd expect. But, like, space is never really fucking defined. 
So I don't fucking know how close the, the hut was from the huts on the beach and where this was, but how did the Greystones, they lived there for years, a couple of years at least, how did they never fucking run into the tribesmen? How did they not run into anyone else? And then, and then Jane, she, you know, so, you know, he, he, Tarzan frees him, so, yeah, Tarzan frees his mom, and then he makes this, the fucking song about how great he is, and then his, then Coach Check challenges Tarzan, and Tarzan wins, even though that's bullshit, because the only reason men went over apes is because we have guns. An ape would have ripped his fucking arms off. That ape should have just torn him asunder. But nope, he Tarzan, he man, so he win, and he king of apes. And then Jane shows up. Her dad, her dad's maid, and Jane. And they, and they go into the hut, and they never address the skeleton. They're just there. And I'm just, you found the skeleton. You had to see it. It's right there. Why the fuck are you not addressing this? Why are you not horrified? You're like, nah! Oh, it's a storm. I guess we'll just stay in this cottage that has a skeleton in it. But then we find out that it actually is his dad did build it. I don't know when. I don't know how. Because again, it was just revealed in a panning shot of them on the beach. They're here. Panning shot. Fucking hut. I, I really want to know what they did with the skeleton. I want to know what happened to his mom's skeleton. We don't see that. We just see his dad's skeleton. But then in a move that just... Tarzan has left the apes. He finds the hut. He's gonna live there. He sees Jane and her dad and the maid, and he writes a note to stick on the door. It says, this hut belongs to Tarzan, Tarzan of the apes. And they don't question this. They don't, they don't question it. Jane's like, oh, Tarzan, Tarzan, thank you. They just live there. And then find, we find out through Jane's diary that their family was there to find the, the Waldo treasure, because that was the name of the ship. Uh, because Jane needs it so she doesn't have to marry some douchebag. She writes in journal, Tarzan takes it, and then, and then writes, because before this they had met Tarzan. She had met Tarzan, but he couldn't fucking speak English. He can read English, he can write English, but can't speak it. I mean, I guess that makes sense a little bit, but I just... It irritated me. But that leads back, and then they have their little love montage where they're instantly in love with each other, because that's how these things go. She writes the thing in the journal, like, I don't want to marry this douchebag, because I love my jungle friend. So Tarzan writes in there, my name is Tarzan, I love you too. Aww. Bullshit. And then the some French guys show up, and they're taking them back or something. I don't fucking know. At this point, I'm kind of checked out. But I know at some point one of the French dudes gets uh, separated. Tarzan saves him, and the uh, French dude teaches Tarzan how to speak English. And even the French guy's like, "You can write English, but you can't speak it." I'm like, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, movie. Thank you, random French man. Oh, and somewhere in the middle of this, uh, Coach Check had attacked Jane and, you know, try, try. I forgot. Because he, he, because when Tarzan overthrew Coach Check, he literally threw him off a mountain. And Coach Check's reaction was, next time, Tarzan, revenge! Exactly like that. That was hilarious. So he tries to attack Jane, and then shit happens. Shit, this, all this movie is a shit happening. And then, French dude taught Tarzan how to speak English. They go so he can surprise Jane. Jane is gone. They've gone to Baltimore, so I guess they're going to BronyCon. Little late for that. So then, French dude and Tarzan hop a boat, a luxury liner, to get to Baltimore. And they're like, oh, he eats too much. Oh, not that guy, the one who's dressed more casually. You know, the ape man. Then Tarzan buys some suits. He goes to break up the wedding with a fire. He sets the fire that just somehow breaks the window. They're like, ah, oh, fire, fire. And he's like, Jane, I have returned to you and I'm going to marry you because I love you. And uh, here's the treasure. And then they find out, 
And then he he, he runs away the uh, the the one douchebag with just a, a sizzling stick. He's just just ah, get away from me! And he goes ah, and runs. Because every conflict in this movie is just easily resolved. And then they find out that he is. <laughs> then they find out he is the heir to the Greystone fortune. Greystone fortune. Yeah. And he's like, give it all to charity. He's like, no, you need to give it to Jane so she didn't marry the guy. That was the whole premise. That was the whole conflict. Ass. But he's not doing that because he knows who he is. He's Tarzan of the Apes. And then he takes Jane to go live in the jungle. And they then redo their entire stupid love song they had over the credits. Like, the, the entire thing. Did you love it the first time? Because you're going to see it again. Same animation, everything. Same reused animation. It... Yeah. So, uh... That's my review of Golden Films' Tarzan of the Apes. It's not good. Don't recommend it. I know I left a lot of stuff out, but not really. Because not a lot of should have. Other than Simba was in this movie. Growing up, adult Simba. Because again, they're ripping off Disney shit. He just shows up sometimes. Uh, Tarzan learns to make fire. Sets some graves and just... And ah, fire! I can't run away. Duh, and uh. yeah, this was bad. Though not as bad as Holiday and Handcuffs. I still hate that movie more. This movie I had a couple of chuckles at, but it's just stupid and doesn't know anything about plotting or pacing. Like. Their character, I uh, think I said that, the character designs are okay-ish, they're passable, the animation itself is terrible, but the songs are just there, the story is barely there, there's no indication of any passage of time. This could have all happened in a week for all I fucking know. So, that's it. Hopefully I win next time, or at least don't fucking tie. And, uh, yeah. See ya.